Since January 2015, former President Chen Shui-bian has been out of prison on medical parole. Although he hasn't ventured back into politics, his every move is still of high interest to supporters as well as opponents. Last year, Chen launched his own radio show and has slowly reemerged into the public sphere. Today, we bring you an exclusive sit-down with the former president who discussed the Ukraine crisis, China, and President Tsai Ing-wen in the wide-ranging interview. This is the first TV interview accepted by President Chen Shui-bian since he left the presidential office 15 years ago. <laughs> you have to be happy even when you're unhappy. What else can you do, right? You just have to keep on keeping on. Whenever Taichung people come for so-called home visits, it's stressful for me. In fact, because at any moment they might decide to take me back to prison. So in response to your question, am I happy? No. But we have to be able to find happiness in unhappiness. Chen was released from prison on medical parole in January 2015. He knows that President Tsai Ing-wen can decide the course of the rest of his life. Earlier this year, Tainan city government proposed that the government should give you a special pardon following in the footsteps of the South Korean government, who pardoned their former president, Park Geun-hee. Your view on that? We respect the political privileges conferred on the president by the Constitution, but we do feel profoundly grateful to the Tainan city government, my own home city, for passing this proposal. Has President Tsai heard your pleas? I don't know. If she doesn't want to, then undoubtedly she has her reasons. As a former president, what is your assessment of President Tsai's performance so far as Taiwan's first ever female president? It seems now that the DPP's best election winner is not me, but Tsai Ing-wen. She won a big majority at two general elections, and she even won an absolute majority in the legislature. So the DPP controls both the executive branch and the legislature. President Chen also took a stance on the most heated foreign policy debate of the moment. People are saying, Ukraine today, Taiwan tomorrow. In other words, we are in a similar predicament. Do you think that's a useful analogy? It won't be war. If Russia attacks Ukraine, it's a declaration of war on the U.S. Likewise, if China attacks Taiwan, can it afford a war with America? It's the same as the Ukraine issue right now. A decisive statement from a president who made history books. After years of silence, President Chen has finally spoken out on a range of issues, both national and international.